anyway, we're down here. Put our stuff through that we got yesterday. So, oh, I well, better get to get to and do what I gotta do and put this through and yeah, you know the rigmarole. Everyone knows the rigmarole. But anyway, let's get to put the glass through first. Then I almost had someone take my tr my cart, my shopping cart. There was a disabled bloke. He's looking at it, looking at it, and he just about took the bloody thing. I thought, hey, hey, mate, come on, no. <laughs> I had to save it. But anyway, we'll get to and to the glass. We actually scrounged a few more out of the trash. Oh, damn you. Come back here. Here we go. Angle is down a bit so you can see what's going on. There we go. I'll put a uh, screenshot of how much we got at the end. I was able to process the, all that steel today, get it all put into place where it's got to go. I haven't put it through the, the um, scrap metal yet. Um, I've just put it in a pile and processed the um, pressure, wasn't a pressure cooker, the deep fryer, I couldn't think what it was. Um, the laminator didn't work, so it got scrapped out too. Uh, what else did we get with that? Um, what did we get in electrics? That was it. I think. Yeah, that's all we. Oh, yeah, that's all we got with electrics. Um, I did zip by and have a look at good old Harvey Norman yesterday too, coming into town. Didn't we put it on camera, but. I got a dryer. Get to test to see if that's going to work. Been too busy elsewhere. Um, also, oh, what else did I get? Oh, a few, few phones and God knows what. So I just picked up cords and oh, a monitor, computer monitor. So I've decided all the computer stuff that I've got, I'm just going to scrap it out and get the scrap steel out. Hang on to all the motherboards, because they're, they're recyclable. I may be able to send them somewhere else. Ooh, I thought you were going to go through, you little turd. You're not, though, are you? Where's your top? Where's your neck, bro? Oh, you're through now. <laughs> hey, if they don't go through, make sure it goes through, because you know it's recyclable anyway. There's the neck. I could have cheated. It's in there, three circles. Didn't get nothing for it, but it still went through recycled. Recycling glass. Not supposed to do that. But we do anyway. I see a lot of people doing it. There was actually um, a couple of young fellas. They had fishing line on the end, pulling back on the forwards. They got caught. <laughs> I thought, ooh, that's a cheating way. They actually got caught. So no one's done it since. I don't know how much they got, but they got a fair bit apparently. The only problem is doing that. The machine buggers up because it thinks you're doing it. You're doing something wrong, which that's how they got caught. Because no, even, I'm, even though I'm recording now, we're on CCTV up top. Oh, baloney, you're going through. Baloney, I can't even grab that. Oh, barcode's gone. Well, we're still going to make sure you go through, bro. Right, that's the glass done. So we put through 107 units, $10.70. I'll take that for, for a yes. Who's a tooting their horn? Put our top down there. Get stuck straight into this. Yep. That wants to come back at us. Maybe that? No. Nope. 
I loaded baloney. Now you went through. Is that through? No. Got to straighten that out a bit more. Doesn't take much. Oh, come on. Go through. Here we go. This is the boring part. Putting it through here. Always is. You know, even though some of them are crushed, they still go through, which is good. Just gonna persevere with it and put it to a different shape if it doesn't work. Sometimes you can put one that's not crushed through and it comes back at you. That's a bit monotony that way. Oh, I'll get in there. Go on, go on. Oh, you're a baloney, you're full. Nothing wrong with you. Little dent. You know how much this cart caught. fit, how much it fits in the cart shortly. Be a rough estimation on how much we'll get then. But it can vary from different sizes, like you get a two litre bottle. We got a two litre bottle, that's going to take up more space. More air space, that's it. That's all it is, air space. Uh, Sixteen dollars. Oh, you baloney thing! What's wrong with you? Oh, my coat's half gone. Come on, try and read it. Try and read it. A lot of people coming here.
Oh, that was $18.60. Start with this one. Fingers. It's in there. Bag done. Pour it out at least. I'm estimating around the eighty dollars estimation. 
size of the steel, probably 85. Come on, you're going to go through. Bark goes half gone. It still went through. Still got paid. Oh, come on, what's the jam up? Come on, what's wrong? Oh, 50, 50 smackaroos. See, if you've got a bit of fishing line, <laughs> I'll just do this once. I'll show you what I mean. This was already on this, so you didn't see this. Come on. Is it gonna work? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to pay out. <laughs> See what I mean? Shouldn't do that, but anyway, it's the way it works. Yeah, we go. I'll quickly jump over to this next machine. Oh dear! Not like a nose. Oh, come on. Oh, what the hell? I've done nothing wrong to you. Oh, a load of crap. A load of baloney. We're going to have to wait. We'll wait 10 minutes. Let's see if we can keep going. Hell yeah.
Oh, come on. What's wrong with you? Back up. We backed up big time. Let's see if I can do this. No, no. I need someone else to do that. Go through, go through. Oh, you baloney bloody thing. Right, we're finished. After all that ordeal. It's amazing what you find on the side of the road. Just picked up a whole heap of copper wire. There's a fair bit there. Oh my god. That's heading home. You're in the bloody exhaust. Or is that? Yeah, that's the best exhaust. It's not the Cadillac. Yeah, well, we'll chuck it in there. We'll head on home. Bit of scrap steel. Just a bit of an update on how I'm going with all the pressing up of the aluminium. I've got to chuck it in this video and, uh, yeah, put a bit more out there for you so you know how I've done all this. I have had a few people ask me, am I doing a pressing up video and that sort of thing. I thought, well, I can put it on the end of here and now uh, this is only what we got yesterday. I think it's, no, it's a couple of days actually. Uh, might even be last week, some of it. But anyway, um, this is how I've been doing it. Um, got it in the shed here at the moment. Get that up there so it's not in the road. Squash it down into that. I will use the press, but um, it's much easier to press it in there. I've <coughs> lose my voice here. I have already taken the block out, so we're basically starting fresh again. So you fit it as much as you possibly can in. Um, like for the new viewers, so I made this part and bought the press itself. So make sure that the trays are fairly clean and you can also put aluminium cans in here too that don't actually go through it through the machine well, that's what we do anyway I think by recollection um, this only cost me oh, about $60 to make um, it's a bit of 10 mil RHS square box stuff and I just made up some wings for the side to stop from sliding around and whatever, whatever have you. Oh, go in there. Get in there. Right, and I've got a plate here that I put on top. And then I just press that down. Keep the chain out there. The chain's for when it's a long way down so I can pull the play out. I think I've got this is be the ninth one that I've done. It's a bit crooked the plate, so I've got to straighten it out. In doing so, I can put an extra two blocks underneath it maybe only one to press it down further oh, I'll be able to put the two probably probably put the two two flat blocks and 
Here we are. Just got to get it square so it fits in the hole. Very neat fit. It's only got about oh, a millimetre around the whole thing to go in the hole. Like she's a 12 tonne press, just a normal shop press from super cheap here in Australia. Um, you probably get one from your Walmart or wherever you can. They are adjustable. I wouldn't trust it to be 12 tonne because the jack gives out before then anyway. That's all they are, just a hydraulic jack. I'd like to get it on a porter power so we can start a motor and press it down. It'd be nice. But it all takes money. So you do it on the cheap, as cheap as you possibly can. And that's what I've done here. Made it as cheap as I possibly can to get the thing done. It's worked well, I tell ya. I'll take this around once I'm finished here. Uh, I'll show you how much I've actually pressed up. Getting ready to um, do a scrap metal run soon too. Hopefully in the next month, six weeks, hopefully. Cross and fingers. Then I'll put the bottle tops and the wine necks in all, everything in here with that top down the ground. Right, press that up, where'd that go? It doesn't matter how much you put in there. Put that up on its edge. It's just the way I designed it. It is slow. And like I said, it works. Damn mozzies. If it's not the flies, it's mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Vampires. Better no nerves. Well, that's what I call them. All right, this is gonna get very, very hard to push down. So I've got an extra lever here. Makes it a lot better. Get a bit better leverage. Presses it down. Not busting my arms to pull out, pull on it. I've already broke the pin on it once. It's starting to bend again. Put a new pin in it, of course. Homemade one. You do things on the cheap man, while you can. When you can. When you're in a bind. It's going down very slowly. Look, I've probably got um, aluminium there from the hairdresser from Coles. Click and click. That one there, that's, that usually comes into here. The aluminium from that. Um, any cans that are squashed and don't actually go through our machine. Oh dear, that's as far as I can go with that. I've got to go through, bring it back up. Pull that one out. Put that in the bottom, go back down. Oh, excuse. I think I went a bit too high. Speed the process up. Oh, I can't do that with that. I have had it go bang on me a couple of times where the block in here actually go, flips out from inside. Leak at least it's in, enclosed where I don't get, dem, get any harm done to me or anything like that. I looked at all the safety factors, so especially when you're pushing this much weight. I think I've got that back to front, I have. That goes that way. Oh, 
It's starting to get hard. Time to stand up and get off the chair. Get off my butt. Can't work sitting down. That's a fair bit of pressure. I think we're there. Yep, we're there. I can't push it down any harder. So that's all I do. I wait until it's pretty close to the top. Right. And all you do is you take all this stuff out. It's pressed up in there. I'll wait for, oh, probably another four kilos of aluminium. But I'll, um, yeah, I'll show you what we got out here. This is what we got. This is, you know, how I've started sorting our scrap steel out. This is scrap metal, scrap metal. This is from yesterday, all these. So that's how, what I said by, I've processed them. I've just put them straight in these, these pods. Um, I forget the name of these, what they call them, um, but yeah, there's usually uh, ethanol in them or fertilizer. Uh, these two here, they were, they did have fertilizer. I had to buy those two. And what I've done is so that where I take um, my scrap metal, he's got a rotating fork. So I thought, well, damn good idea. I can get me me pods back and reuse them. Um, aluminium here and this is the blocks I've got eight there I think yeah I've got eight of those um, this is what I've done with the aerosol cans cut the tops off so there's a, at least a half a bin of those that's what I do with the aerosol cans uh, but yeah that's the aluminium I get to and put a couple of zip ties around it once I've got so many you can see all the bottle tops and god knows what I tell you what I reckon there's probably about 50 to 60 kilos there. I'm only estimating, probably overestimating, because one will it, one weighs about seven, eight kilos, another one weighs about six kilos. So it, it probably would be close. Uh, maybe looking about 40 kilos. And then you've got the one that's coming out. Um, well, it won't be for a while. But anyway, that's what we've done there. Uh, getting back to what I picked up on the way home. Got another pod here ready to be chopped up, if I can have it. I haven't asked. That belongs to this place. Um, yeah, we got a bit of copper wire. Um, wasn't expecting it. I ran over it. What the devil was that? And I sort of went back and, yeah, she's good copper wire. Where's the end of it? Right here. Right damn here. She got the good, good good stuff in that. And I picked up the exhaust. Um, now, we got... Well, there you go. Just check the old phone you own. Um, everything I scanned. Even, this is my, my, my livelihood. If I ain't got my goddamn phone, I wouldn't be able to survive, I reckon. Like a lot of us now these days, what would we do without a mobile phone? But anyway, we put through five, uh, 659 units. So that's $65.90. Not too bad, that's pretty damn good. But this is the icing on the cake, all this copper wire. You know, you add that with it. No, it's not too bad, bit of a scrap metal. Um, I also did pick up on the way home too, a fishing rod cover. Might look like one, but you slide it over the top of a fishing rod if you've still got your line on there, and it stops it from tangling up. It just expands out, so it don't matter what size fishing rod you got, but you can get them longer. I think this is only a meter and a half. You can get them a lot longer than that. I think you can get them up to three meters. So yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. Um, so we've done pretty good. So if you've come this far in the video, don't forget to smash that like button. More people smash that like button, more people get to see this video. Many others that, that we've created. Um, if I wasn't putting a camera on my head and sharing my content or, or putting it out there for everyone, no one would see it. 
So if you've also come this far, don't forget to, uh, if you consider subscribing, by all means, subscribe. Um, and if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when there's a new video coming out. So on that note, everyone, I'm going to end it off there. I'm going to go and put this over me, one of my fishing rods that I've got to find somewhere in the shed over there. I've got a whole heap of washing machines to do and whatnot. Um, dryers, I picked up one yesterday, like I mentioned. Get this wire all stripped out. And, uh, yeah, on to the next one, I suppose. So anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!